What is up, Facebook Live? Comic Convos is back again. We're getting set up here, and we are here for a great cast tonight, guys. What I mean, is up, Facebook? Think about it. March. March came, and yeah, the year's kind of going by quick, but Logan. 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 That was Logan. the opener to the movie year. It is. I mean, there's other stuff that came out this year. You know, you, we had what, Underworld or... Uh, it, we had, like, we had John Wick 2. And, and that was good, actually. It, and those were, some of those are good great. movies. It, uh, but... Even uh, there was something else that came out a little early. Someone told me it was really good that I can't remember. But I'm the... trying to think because I'm like, I've seen pretty much every movie that's come out this year. And there haven't been too many great ones, guys. I no. mean, feel free to chime in and, you know, tell us which ones and, I mean, you thought were good and yeah. which ones weren't. And outside of our kind of genre of action slash com comic book slash, you know that kind of thing, there there's stuff like Get Out. Get Out. That have, that's uh, a good movie. Um, I have I still have yet to see it, guys, because I'm just letting it kind of I'm letting it kind of die down a little bit. Um, there's like a lot of things in terms of race and things of that nature that I just don't really go to see movies for. Um, I see fictional pictures to either depict that in a decent way or to escape from you know reality. reality. Yeah. Um, but. Well, well, once it dies down a little bit, it gets into the right. When it's cinema, a little less heated, and I have less kind of, uh, I guess, personal stuff clouding my opinion of it. You right. know what I mean? Because your your personal like mood can cloud your opinion of a movie. Absolutely. I mean, oh, and thanks for everybody who's viewing right now. Thank um, you so much, Susie. Thanks for Susie. coming in. Uh, she says she hasn't seen Logan yet, so we won't be doing too many spoilers. No, there's, there's, there'll be very minor spoilers, things that won't destroy like plot, plot or things like anything that. Anything like, like that. Like, we're not going to tell... And, and it, it just reminds me of something I saw on someone else's podcast. We won't tell you if there's a big twist. We won't tell you if there's a... No, no. We're not even going to tell gonna, you this is just the tone the of the movie. of the conversation. Yeah, we're, we're, just, we're, t we're giving you our kind of review of the movie, what we thought of the plot line, stuff like that. It's a no spoilers review. Pretty I mean, much. we're going to spo not spoil it all. We might do some light things, and we'll definitely let you know, like, hey, this might be a light spoiler. But we just want to go ahead and tie things in that we think will be relevant and good for you to know even before you go see the movie. You know, we, we're going to talk about things like kind of like villains a little bit. We're going to touch on some of the re very dramatic and good scenes that we saw. Like, this is just a great tinge of drama. Like, the Wolverine movie, man, the, one of the best things about it to me is just the fact that there's only like three main characters and then you know you have a few more here yeah there, you got some but... supporting characters exactly but but definitely three main characters and 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 here's to be honest that i like it because of this the en enemy is kind of amalgamous mm -hmm. to be you there are definitely key supporting enemy things but there's no real i feel like head enemy no like, yeah, no one no takes big, a big bad enemy that's like oh my goodness like, like kind of maybe at some point but not Really? No. I mean, I mean, we might as well, you know, the villains are in the movie aren't heavily present. It, no, it, nor is it like, you know, yeah. Yeah, and and, and we're not going to spoil too bad. No, like, so, but that might have been a little bit too far, but I don't, I, the villains the villains have a great role in the film. Yeah, in that's the not sense to say that they're not still, or that they're not still, you know, damaging and villainous and right. all around, you know, bring about bad shit because that's what villains exactly. do. That's no spoiler. Any movie that doesn't have bad stuff happen is probably not a movie, actually. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, man. In that sense that the film, and what I meant about the villains is that Logan is a movie about Wolverine. Right. The, the, this is a movie This isn't like Logan. Thor or the Avengers where you're like, oh, I love Loki. Loki's going to be this villain exactly. I remember. It's and he's going to be this heart endearing. Mm -hmm. And like, even though he's hateable, I love him. Like, and I guess that's kind of a spoiler, too, telling you he's not like that, I guess. But th but we always knew this movie's about Wolverine. Guys. It is. This is. It's about a movie Logan. about Logan. And Logan the best and thing obviously the that. and here's the thing. I'm not I'm not ruining anything more than uh, the the comer the trailers have. If you haven't seen the trailers, I'm gonna guess you don't care that much about the movie, and I'm not ruining anything about it. If you if, if I'm assuming wrong, please check out the trailers. Yeah, please. And I won't. Yeah, let please. Please see the They're trailers all and kind over. of some of the backstory that's going on. Yeah, they and, explain, and, and especially if you don't know anything about Logan. If you know about Wolverine, that's you know, you, even then, nah. If you know about Wolverine, you're fine. Well, I guess we could back up a little bit and kind of explain his past a little, even. Yeah, we'll, we'll that's the thing. That that's the great bit. thing about this. this is a Logan cast about the movie, but in order to understand the movie, you got to understand that, everything about Wolverine. Yeah, before I mean, this he kind was of, born as James Howlett, guys. In the 1800s, like, what was it? Yeah. Like 18... It's something like 1860s, 1860s I think. Something? Yeah, I, I was I thinking something like that. But... but he was born in, like, 1860. And, mind you, Wolver Wolverine has healing powers. He has, you know, 
a lot of different abilities that allow him to live this long. So this is why he's born in 1800. Yes, in Canada. In Canada, Canada. with him and Sabretooth, his brother. Um, Actually, that's that's which is which that's is the movie the, thing. The intro, yeah, movie. that's the movie thing. But it's but, this is the movies, so we're hoping this we're kind of chopping. We'll chop in between. We'll chop in between. But more than that, it's hard to keep canon on it these is. movies after the record. Yeah, and we the, don't know and, what. The bat, and, and, and we'll, we'll say that um, Sabretooth and Wolverine is kind of like a, a almost misunderstood relationship in the movie versus the comics. They're like enemies, dude. Like <laughs> they're enemies for a good amount in the comics. And oh, now, I well, mean, I mean Sabretooth yeah. now, but I mean even then. I, it's not like they're friends, for sure. And, uh, I mean, I'm sure anyone in the chat or who has read Wolverine stuff will agree that uh, they are most certainly never been on the best of terms. No. I mean, and, and that's the best part about it, right, is that you have that. But anyway, continuing with this storyline, um, he goes through all the oh, world uh, wars. Civil War era. That's what we're getting from Susie Marie. Oh, hi, yeah. Hey. Hi, Cy. Thank you for coming in. We're trying to catch up on comments. We do have a little bit of a lag. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, we have, we've got a couple of little lag issues, though. But, yeah, I mean, he goes to every war, yada, yada, yada. Fast forward, there are bad things that happen in Wolverine's life, even in the Marvel continuity that just really, really scruff him up to this guy that, you know, ends up being, getting to the end of the leg and just being like, oh, my goodness, I'm, like, done with this. Like, that even happens to old man Logan. Yeah. Which is who this character is directly based off of. I feel like there's definitely heavy inspiration. I feel like the... Well, he it, said it in... He said it at uh, Comic-Con. I it was yeah. like three words, old man Logan. Which, that doesn't mean that... Because this is an original, you know, Wolverine. It's not old man Logan at all. But it, he is slightly based off of old man Logan. In the sense that he is old. He is towards his end. He's well, and there's similarities. You know, the, the healing factor is not what it once was necessarily. This one... You know, hey, Cy, thanks different. for commenting, man. Seriously, thank you every everyone who's commenting and you know just being a part of it. And yeah, thanks we, for we catching know we the haven't stream. seen. We're trying, like you said, we're not try try not to do it. Uh, we're just trying to share the, yeah, the video the, around get and some just reach. give our like I said our honest reviews. And to be, I guess to even preface most of this, go watch Logan. Go watch it. Go watch it. It's Guys, worth like, it. It is worth it. Even it was worth it for even two it, views. Like yeah, me, it and, me and Leo have both seen it twice. I, I yeah for. You know, we went opening night, and then each of us went later uh, at, separately. So, it even like I said, I watched it the second time, and I didn't lose any of the experience emotionally. None of it. Any of the experience of the story, any experience of, and like I said, it's not the perfect movie, but what movie is perfect? It. None of them. It's got <laughs> small parts where it's like, oh, this or that, oh, this or that. But man, is it a good movie, guys. You've got to check it out. And it, it, I couldn't give it higher reviews. Uh, I could, I mean, but there's very... I can't even think of very many movies off the top of my head that like, are just Honestly, and this is the second one good. that... I mean, this is the second one Fox has put out in two years, guys. That's been good. Cause that Deadpool has been very... Great. Deadpool is very high quality. Like I said, definitely, for me, 90% above. And it makes you And it makes you think, should Fox keep doing the rated R? I think what that's the think? way that... Yeah, what do you guys think? Tell us, like... Should wh- Fox... Do move into this rated R more adult themed superhero movie? Yeah, and if so, who do who gets a superhero movie? Do we get another Punisher? Does he get another shot on screen? Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be totally honest here. I didn't think the last one was so bad. To be totally honest, the last, the last Punisher, one, uh, the last Punisher, not the second one, but the last reboot where they started the new Punisher. Mm-hmm. Not including Daredevil, the new Daredevil TV show <sighs> Punisher is also <laughs> extremely good. Maybe yeah. even the best Punisher. I was going to say he is amazing. He is dude. probably the Absolutely. best Punisher, which makes you look forward to his show. Six which is out of five out stars, later. definitely. Watching both. Yeah. Seth wow. Mel is also live on Facebook. Nice. Nice, Seth Mel. Nice, I wasn't nice, crazy nice. about Logan. Okay, yep, nice. We're trying not to spoil too much, side, but agreed. Susie has not seen the movie, so yeah, we're not. We're not. We won't get too far down into the line of that, but yeah, definitely. <clears throat> the, uh, movie, the movie was good, but movie was good. That, that, like I said, there were. That was definitely one of the things I too was a little reticent about, but I feel like it. Yeah, absolutely it went well. Uh. In addition to that, uh, I feel like there were a lot of parallels drawn between the Old Man Logan line that 
really were strong. Like, they kept true a lot to it, even though they could not be true to it at all. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, exactly. Because it was a totally different story that they didn't have the rights to, obviously. <laughs> Susie and, said she's going to see it soon. Yeah, that's great. Nice. You Absolutely. definitely got to check it out. Definitely got to check it out. But, guys, we're Comic Combos back here for episode eight, which, as you can already tell, it's a Logan thing cast, guys. Like, we are talking Logan tonight. We are talking about. Logan, 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 Wolverine, X-23, and Logan. Like, I mean, we are talking all about We might about talk the about Logan some alternate, some alternate and universe. We almost effect. forgot to tell people about the prizes yeah, tonight. Yeah, we, we, I we was just prizes. about to pick it up, my man. Guys, we have prizes now. We are going to give away comics to one of our lucky viewers tonight. I mean, guys, we've got all new Wolverine. We've got Marvel Now Wolverine. We've got Weapon X. Like, we've got quite a few comics here that we're going to give out to you guys. Three random viewers tonight are going to get their choice, their pick. Yeah, their pick out of these of uh, seven, I believe, right? Yeah, we have we've seven got, choices. Let's see. Yep, we've got seven uh, choices And we're even here. set for next week. We're going to have even more prizes. Yeah, we're going to continue to give you guys some stuff. We appreciate you guys coming back to the cast. Oh, yeah. We we're getting love a the ton of these, ton of comments too. and stuff, yes, and we enjoy we love it. love it. Asia, welcome back. Good to see you again. You're one of our awesomest followers because we are, again, we're giving away comics tonight. We're going to start doing this every week. Every week, guys. Seriously. Every week. But, yeah. Definitely share the video to your friends. Deadpool here. 2, Susie. Yes, yes Deadpool, Deadpool 2. 2. The trailer, oh which I'm sure you've seen because it's been leaked. Law School, I would be sure keeps you busy, Susie. I'm sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. But like you were saying, have you seen the Deadpool teaser yet? Deadpool teaser. It that is online is on YouTube, and it's in high quality. It is beautiful quality. And Oh, thank you so much to have it set for the Notify, Susie. And, of course, uh, Asia. We, we appreciate it so much. Trying to trying to keep it real nice and and uh, clean and like I said we have those prizes uh, we have we I guess we can discuss on how to yeah like I said I, I I had already explained that three of the random three random picks anybody who likes views the video we're just gonna do a couple random picks yep and you'll have your pick at yep. the stack of comics yep uh, I think we're picking three three people yep. we are picking three so you, like we said uh, if I don't know if we can actually track who views the video so you'll have to comment either comment or, or react or react uh we will also need you to hopefully comment and react on the main video we'll try to track you through the group posts uh but you know we're, we're still here you know <laughs> we're still trying to give you this stuff and we will mail it to you obviously and uh you know if you don't feel comfortable with us mailing it to you and you have a p.o box obviously or something uh, we'll get it to you we'll we find will. a way to send it to your local church <laughs> we will or get you, we'll get it to you but anyway, going back to Logan. Logan. If you haven't seen it yet, you got to see it. I mean, Logan is just one of those movies that was just as good quality as Deadpool. De definitely just um, as good quality. Maybe even a little bit better, guys. I mean, you got to ask yourself that. Deadpool is definitely... And I got this conversation the other day. I is can... the superhero movie its own genre? Or do superhero movies go in other genres? And it's crazy conversation because you have things like Deadpool, which are a little bit of action, you know? But at the same time, it's more common. Here's the thing. Drama. Here's my thing for that. And I think this is kind of something that eludes most people in their kind of classification things is that something can be two things at once. Mm -hmm. The superhero genre can be its own genre while still sharing super big similarities and i actually have the same kind of like comment from someone else who was critiquing the logan movie and they're like well it's not really a superhero movie it's but a, it is but it is it despite the fact that it plays out and he said it described it very well like a clint eastwood movie absolutely very oh, yeah. much which i like because most logan comics are very purposefully written, written like, like clint, clint eastwood, eastwood. actually james mangold worked on a Clint Eastwood film. That is awesome to know. That is so, so cool. It, he has that experience of that gritty western style setting and tone. He's got all of that under his belt. Definitely. And that's what made this one work. Yeah, I definitely think so. And so if you enjoy Clint Eastwood films at all, which I love them. Absolutely as a kid, love them. Love them. And love even, them. And even more current ones, like even stuff that's kind of harder as well, like the Gran Torino. Oh, yeah. Which was a difficult it's film a to... hard to swallow, but it's a great film. It and is that was the best film. thing about this one is just, man, it's a great film, guys. It's a Western style, gritty, very... And, and it's a post-apocalyptic future, guys. I mean, you, you should know that if you saw the trailer. 
Johnny Cash is Hurt is the song that's playing the entire time, and that's a sad song. It's not happy, it's not cheery whatsoever. All the people in the future just, you know, you're not seeing Storm fly down, you're not seeing Cyclops. Yeah, there's no Cyclops. The, the, if, I mean, yes, and you know you have Professor X next 23. This isn't a spoiler if you watch the trailers. But... Y- you even know about uh, the Reavers and Pierce that they're in the trailers. You, you got see from Psy here. I liked it better than Deadpool for sure. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I'm wow. not sure about Deadpool well, too, too. Says Susie. I have mixed feelings because the first one was so epic and they set the bar so high. It's going to take a lot. I, I agree. agree fully and absolutely. I, and, and the thing is, I think that's it's so funny. They have the directorial uh, issues already mm-hmm. because with Ryan Reynolds because of that. And I like that Ryan Reynolds won that dispute and stayed. Yeah. Because I believe Ryan wants to do that. Make it bigger, better, and more Deadpool. And, and the that's the best part about having Ryan Reynolds so involved. Yes. He knows about Deadpool. He has knowledge, guys. He's read the comics. And and on top of that, and here's the thing, I you know, most of the time you don't want this, but he's a Hollywood guy. Yeah. He's been in Hollywood. He knows how the business For works. For a while. Long time now. And unfortunately, he's been in shitty superhero movies before, so he knows what to avoid. Exactly. He knows the mistakes that you can make. And as long as he follows Deadpool's thing, I think it's going to be great. Uh, I kind of agree with Cy. I And like I said, I have a very tough time, and I think I, I have to wait more time until it's been a while since I've seen Logan to dissect it a little more distance, a Absolutely. little more uh, like I can do with Deadpool. Yeah, coming up with a he great He is plot obsessed and with not, it. <laughs> not relying on the R rating. Uh, Cy is right. She says, the first Deadpool is great. The challenge will come with keeping the plot interesting and not relying on the R rating. Agreed. Because Deadpool really lacks plot, even in his main stories. He's mm-hmm. very heavily pop culture reference driven. And so it's going to be difficult. Very, very yeah, difficult. Thanks for the comment, Asia. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, but And we don't totally agree, obviously. And, and the best part about it, though, is that we got to that first movie, right? So we kind of get to dig into the meat and bones. Right. And, that, and they've already spoiled that. Nathan Summers is coming. coming. Yeah, I mean, he says it at the, the end U. of the film. No. I mean, we're we're going to have Cable. Bam. Like, there it is. Nathan, he's going to be there. He's going to. You know? And it's good. We need that because that is the next step in Deadpool's evolution as a character. <laughs> right. And Oh, man. I could just watch that movie every night, though, and Dude, not easily. have a problem. So that's, that's what makes a challenge for two. Is that going to be the exact same? I have to have that feeling, you know? I want to watch this every single oh. night. I do. I want to. And Deadpool gave me that feeling. Like I said, that's why it's so hard for me to compare him. Especially, and here's the hardest part. And I can this. I don't feel like this will spoil the movie. I think it just makes it better. Mm-hmm. For Logan, Logan is a typical Wolverine movie. And not like the typical prior Wolverine movies with shit. No. But I mean in a <laughs> typical movie that you would want to see. As this is a typical Wolverine in this movie. This is actually this how, is how Wolverine should be portrayed. Yes. Exactly. This old Especially man if this happened to him. Like, imagine if that happened to you guys. I mean, like, you're in a post apocalyptic future with just Professor X and X-23. You know? It, it's a future where things just aren't... Sure, the next day, could, you could be gone. Absolutely. And you're absolutely okay with it. Which is the craziest thing about this depiction of Wolverine is we've kind of had this, like, you know, kind of tough badass Wolverine the whole time, but we've never seen him in... really in turmoil. Not only that, like I said, without the R rating prior to this, really, there was no way to accurately exactly. depict Wolverine in his total gore. Slightly, slightly juvenile. Definitely. And not just, not just, here's the thing, I'm not just talking about the actual violence, the swearing. That's very facile uh, subjects of what an R rating film can give you. An we're R rating about... film, we're talking concepts Concept. of life, mm-hmm. of of and the seriousness of the plot. Oh yeah, the seriousness of what's going on. Oh dude. yeah, and like I said, the mood is most certain. There's definitely got to be Clint Eastwood, a hundred percent. Absolutely, and we won't dive too deep, but like you know, it starts digging into X 23s past and and what happened with X twenty three, and and man, you just gotta go see it. Yep, I'm telling you, guys. Uh, and there's de- several people who have apparently. Uh, Asia has, and I think Sai said he has. Uh, Sai uh, says, I'm really, I'm really looking, looking forward, forward to Deadpool 2 marketing strategy. They they did so much so great stuff for the first for one. The it, first was one. It, it was hilarious. It was, Sai. It was so funny. Great posters. Oh my hilarious God. videos. Hilarious. Like, it was really awesome. I thought it was great. And I think they'll do great on this because they're already starting. They've already started on it. 
Logan was dope. I'm confused about who some people were though. Asian. You feel free to message us, yeah. or, or as long ask. as it's not yeah, as long as it's not a spoiler. I if feel. it's not too much of a spoiler, like if you ask who, as long as you don't have to such describe such plot. Is, yeah. You know, if you can like say the name or and something. And we could just tell you. We won't really fill them in with any spoilers or anything. No, 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 no. We're, we'll literally you know give some and even maybe give some character references to the comics. As Susie said, Absolutely. a lot of those characters can be kind of gleaned from the comics, although not all of them. Uh, some of them are like very, very. What was your question things. about the hidden scenes from Apocalypse? Um, oh, did I miss that one? Yeah, Asia was saying that. What, what was that question, Asia, that you had? Because we can kind of talk a little bit about it. Which the thing about Apocalypse and Logan is that you have a huge, 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 huge gap. So it's just kind of like I can understand where all the questions are coming from. No, I definitely understand. It's just like okay, well, which I, I yeah, I'm on I'm on the same page with you. I don't know what's up with it. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> damn it, Barry. That's all I can say yeah, about that. Basically, the timeline's got so screwed. It's hard to figure out what's really going exactly, on. Exactly, because I mean, we hit the reset button after Days of Future Past, and then we hit the fast forward button. Then we hit the fast forward button straight out of nowhere. After out of nowhere, it's like basically. I think that's the same future as the apocalypse reset one, but it's like you can. Th there's no for sure for fire answer really, because. They don't really come forward. So, the person who creates uh, X-23 in this one, and he is from the comics, which is why it's a good question, uh, is uh, Pierce. Donald Pierce. Donald Pierce. Uh, and they, he's been noted as the main enemy for a while, uh, but to to be... Oh, sorry, one second, guys. Uh, to, to kind of explain, he's the creator and like leader of the Reavers. And so the Reavers in the comic books are a group of cyborgs who basically are mercenaries. Are crazy mercenaries. Crazy mercenaries. Yeah. And they're usually hunting mutants. mutants. Yep. Uh, but, you know, they're they're very specifically cyborgs, and they work a lot with Lady Deathstrike. Yeah, and we're talking and about they tank body Yeah, guy they're way earlier. crazier than anything this you'll guy see. This guy has a freaking tank for a body. Yeah. It's just, it's crazy, guys. Like, the Reavers are characters that are... Very, very intensely powerful cyborgs. They they definitely can. Sometimes they're depicted as not being as strong. Yeah, and it depends it's, on the writer. The writer is always yeah. So Donald Pierce, yeah, he's he used he was originally part of the Hellfire Club, the White Bishop, uh, and yeah, he just craziness. Uh, yep, nearly all of his organic tissue was replaced by cybernetics. Etc. 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 Hates mutants. Etc. 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 Don't know if he actually has. Yep. He named his I army liked, the Reavers. I like that actor yep. for him though. I really did. That guy just kind of was a wimpy asshole. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh man, I was, was actually. Right. I was liking him. Yeah, they did a good job. They did a good job at providing small digging the X Men shirt. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. That's what uh, Susie said. Thank you, Susie. Let's see. Okay, cool. I remember the guy in Logan. Said no, he was so the guy he's talking about there, and this is where the common r weird thing goes. So Stryker orders the the kind of Weapon X program to go, but he doesn't no. actually. He's not actually the scientist who injects mm -hmm. uh, Wolverine, and actually in the Marvel universe he isn't either. He he was on the Weapon X program. Uh, and he does, and they talk about it, he does kill him, like Wolverine does kill uh, Xander, Xander Rice in the Rice. comics. Yeah. Or not Xander, but his father. father. His father. Who uh, and him. that that is very thing, and that's actually really cool because it would show the kind of timeline movement of mm -hmm. aging and stuff. But, uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot of stuff there that can get confusing with all the different mad scientists and And the thing about Logan, and... we, got, we got to remember, this is an original timeline. Marvel has their stuff and Fox has theirs. They can't really father. Yeah, they, they really can't truly. Right, there's limits. Like I said, yeah. Uh, we're, there's I, li I like the one. It's a new. It's a meme you can find online if you look hard enough. And it's X twenty three and Logan the car. It's like, Logan, were you ever in the Avengers? What's no, up, you Steven? can't say Good that. To see you, man. Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming. For coming. In. Thank you for you know everyone who's watching right now. We got a ton of views and we appreciate. Yeah, we're all appreciating of you guys coming in to talk with us tonight. Like Logan was a great movie. Uh, we can't reiterate that enough. Oh, we we're very heavy Logan fans. There are some people that are bashing it on the web. Every 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 great film will have some bashes, and there are things that are wrong with it. Obviously, there's nothing perfect, and we can't really point it out here without spoiling. 
Okay, Cy. Well, man, we'll see you next week. And and uh, I could even oh, thank you for coming in again. <laughs> it's three a.m. Yeah, thank Cy, you. Cy, for... we will keep you in mind. It's yeah. a, it's random, but there's right now only two two or three people in the 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 whole thing. So right now you're doing you're great doing for the standings. Well, yeah. <laughs> very well. All right. But... Thanks, man. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, no problem, Asia. We're here to always fill people in. Always. Always. If you have a question anytime, let us know. What did you guys think about Logan? We would love to hear what you thought. Oh, like, definitely. We want to know what y'all, what was the best part and what would you say is a part that could be improved? Yep. Yeah. Without, not spoiled too much. Like but said, if you like, can you do know, as what, tiny as possible, no, it, de- you know. Exactly. Do it kind of as tiny as possible. I guess it's hard sometimes, man. We Just, what is the, part. your, I guess, what would you say is your favorite thing about Wolverine's situation? Something kind of like low key, I don't know. Let us know what your favorite aspects were of the movie. And, Sometimes and, it's just it, a word. Just like mine, word. mine is probably no matter what nightmares. Yeah, I know exactly what you exactly. mean. Exactly. Sometimes it's one word is all it takes. Nightmares is my favorite part of that whole thing. I want to make I it just, into a meme so bad. I just bad. love the character development. It's so good. Oh my god. For such a it short time. It focuses so much on these characters that you get a, a good, rich time with the characters to see their development through the not only just through the film, Despite but the action, it, but yeah. also in their past. Oh, there's a lot of uh, referencing of the past. Guys. Yep, and it, I will tell you now, guys, it's good references. It, it really it is, puts, and that's that was the other thing mind. I got from a lot of people that was. And this is part of the trailer too, so it's not too much. Is they're like, well, what happened to all the X Men? And I'm like, did you not watch the movie? And they're like, did well, no, I watched the movie. That? Yeah. Oh, that watched the movie. I bet they, they said they did. They must not have. I feel like they were just bashing it, maybe, and being one of those people. Oh, man. The way they humanized Wolverine. He is more than just an animal, even though it's the most primal we've seen him. Yes. Yes. I saw Definitely. Jackman say thank you video. What an amazing guy. I can't imagine Logan slash Wolverine being played by anyone else. Absolutely. Oh, agree. yeah. It's... Even though he's suggesting people for the Wolverine role now. Oh, I mean, he is, and he, they've even talked about letting him help decide uh, who is going to be Wolverine. If he's very heavily involved, it could possibly be Here's more the thing, decent than it. I'm not know. even sure we need another Wolverine. Yeah. We, we, the movies, what are we going to do? More, more, don't get me wrong, I, I definitely want to see all these stories in Wolverine, but I think we're not quite at the point yet. Here's the thing, guys. Eventually, we're going to reach a day in media age where all these tiny little stories are turned into movies because of the ability of anybody to basically, to basically make movies, make them, yeah. the ability to make movies quickly, mm-hmm. the ability to, for people to think and, and for the things to not cost and for us to make blah, blah, blah. You know, there's a, people are like, oh, that's so far. It's not really far away. We're so close to automating most shit where you not saying we don't have to work, but you have to work way less hard. And we'll have it's just things on. are technology is advancing at such a rate where. We're making movies on the fly at this point. Oh, like, yeah. You, just, there's people making easy. live movies and yeah. crazy. Like, and even the release time, like, to go from... I mean, Doctor Strange is out on DVD. Yeah, it's finally out on Blu-ray, what, three months later? Four months later? Which Five. is freaking ridiculous for anyone who's Ridiculously over, quick. Anyone who's over 16 would understand how freaking fast that is we used to have to wait a year, a year or something like that and guys and more before we that were talking like i mean it would be like a movie came out in january you wouldn't see that on shelves till november december if you were lucky if you were if lucky. it was a big movie yeah and if you reach back to vhs days, it was oh, even forget it. oh yeah you'd be lucky to get a it. vhs like one and a half they'd have, not only that they'd only do one release ever so you'd have to be lucky <laughs> yeah. to go find the movie you know unless it was a big movie like little shit movies you'd go find at the video store or over here finally when ebay got invented you could find crap yeah, six seriously. months minimum oh yeah asia Susie, you know it that took so long uh, back then yeah and it is so year. quick now and, and, like yeah, i remember we're, we're you, know what, you know what i shelves. remember oh yeah it's so crazy you know when I remember that starting to happen was the the second Star Wars uh, from the the prequels, the Clone Wars. Yeah, the Attack of I Clones. remember thinking, man, yeah. they, that came out and it's already only been like six or seven months and they've got it out on. That's when things film. I think started speed. No, they did like right around started, that point. It's it like wow, which I don't remember the exact date of that. Because that movie, but, oh man, you could go back and watch that movie and it's actually pretty cleanly done. Like I'm like I was watching it the other night and I was like, wow, these are some. 
great, great visuals for a movie. That's the thing. Time. I mean, we like I said, they're not to say that we aren't always massively making leaps in our fields, but there are definitely points when giant jumps are made. I haven't felt like there's been a giant visual jump in a long time. Doctor Strange kind of did wow. a lot for me. I mean, Doctor Strange that, had some. Even great that scenes. is not so different. It's not a huge from leap Star from Wars. Star Wars, which whereas the jump from Star Wars to let's say a '99 movie. Huge, huge, phenomenal. They talked about it in something else too. I saw they uh, they were comparing the new Horizon Zero Dawn mm -hmm. to the Final Fantasy movie uh, that they did. Remember they did the the live rendering or whatever the yeah, semi live those, rendering. Um, and they seven, just talked about how children, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just talked about how much higher the fidelity was and how much faster it rendered. It rendered in real time this fidelity that used to take Which 15 is, hours per frame. frame. That is an insane difference that we've jumped. Yeah. I think and, it's two to three months. A, yes. A, oh, man. Easy. Susie, is, uh, uh, Asia, you're totally right. It's huge. Um, God, so much going on. And so here's the thing. We've talked about Logan. We will keep talking about Logan. We'll talk about some of these comics, maybe, to get yeah, people a little excited absolutely. about them. Man, Leo, and what really started this all off, let's, we'll talk about one comic, is this one Leo uh, got an extra copy of from our trip. All New Wolverine. And I probably have a copy waiting for me in my inbox on email or somewhere to go grab. Yeah, we uh, ended up I ended up getting an extra copy, so we were like, we should start giving stuff away. And that's how we came to this conclusion that we want you guys to feel great about this we want you guys and to great, enjoy it with us yeah. and dive into this right stuff we don't want us. you to make this thing it's like it's not about us like yeah we're the guys talking on screen yeah, but you but guys that's mostly are... so we can talk with you guys about comics and mm -hmm. stuff like we love love my greatest fact is switching back over to the the comments on the video and seeing oh someone commented and i get to interact right like i agree Cause, Absolutely, because otherwise it's just me being a boring person, and no one wants to watch. Right? That. I mean, guys, <laughs> we 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 know how we feel about the movie. We want to know how you feel about the movie. Oh, we right. Want to know how you guys feel? I forgot they have the admin approval on me. <laughs> Sad face. I I've got locked out of a group. <laughs> They've oh, actually man. legit pushed me out at this point of one or two for the post, but. Hey guys, you can don't tell your admin to let it go. You can win a free comic book. Free comic. And, you know, maybe next time more. Well, we never know what we're going to eventually get here. We're always doing craziness. So, the, Logan definitely is going to be the movie of March. Sorry, Power Rangers. You got the boot. Like, I, I'm already calling it. It's definitely going to be much better than Power Rangers. I just don't think the story's going to be there for Power Rangers it be like it was for Logan. No. Nope. Because I came in expecting a great slasher Wolverine movie. Also, the amount of time that movies stay in the theater now is insane. Used to be two weeks at most. Now sometimes two. Yeah, they stay for a while, especially if they're dominating the box office because oh, yeah. they want to keep raking in that money. I also think just the amount of special effects nowadays keeps, keeps them in them those in large there. theaters where mm -hmm. people want to see them and are willing to pay to see them. Even my cousin says, like, I don't watch movies in theaters unless they have good graphics because otherwise what's the point? And I was like... He's kind of right. Like, if there's no, that's not yeah. the experience. Like, a personal detective drama is probably better in your house than a giant the screen. You know what I mean? But Doctor Strange, way better in theaters than at home. <sighs> Power Rangers looks like I think it'll be all right. Come on, Susie. Oh well, a lot Power of these movies were. Oh my goodness! Speaking of Power Rangers, we also got Kong coming out. Kong, and he's gonna fight Godzilla. Yep, hopefully, that's eventually. coming out tomorrow. Go actually. watch it and support it. I can't do it tomorrow because he's I'm gonna broke. be watching. <laughs> Wait, he's gonna be fighting Godzilla. They talk about it. He's I know they not meet in up this eventually. movie. Okay, okay, yeah, but that's I know where that it's leading. So you need to go watch this one so that eventually he can fight Godzilla. Yeah, exactly. That's, and who doesn't want to see up. that on screen? Oh my god, like, I've always... that'll be like. It won't be as good as Avengers, but it's gonna be great. Oh, it's gonna be so good. And hey, man, they, you never know, man. They do a lot of good shit. Right, there's a lot of good things that come out of nowhere. To be honest, guys. Logan looked good, but I didn't think it was going to be this great. No, I like I said, it very much exceed. Despite all the good shit that was said, it exceeded my expectations. Uh, I've heard people <laughs> say that wasn't the case, but he just said not excited for Power Rangers. <laughs> uh, and then Susie it's just follows me up. and you. I could be wrong, but I'm not overly impressed by the trailer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Come Power on. Rangers is. I'm black. <laughs> right. No, you're, not, <laughs> you're not. But. <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> and my thing about Power Rangers is that it's just a throwback joy. It which really is why is. I it's... think that there's a lot of people that are like, whatever. Because maybe people didn't have Power Rangers Well, maybe in their even lives, more or... than that, they're just like, you know, 
as much as I fondly reminisce about the Power Rangers, I definitely uh, notice that it's when I go back and watch the original, it definitely doesn't... Doesn't live up to the, how it, it was. It doesn't stand up to time, buddy. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't stand up to time. Dude. It plays out exactly like a... Ja well, the problem is it does very much play like a Japanese... Uh, a show of the same type of yeah, where like the, the show is based and, off of not yeah. even just that the comedy fighting and the action freaking thriller. fake hits and the punches and the ha the well, drama that's, stuff and that's based and... off of like kabuki apparently and stuff like very dramatic mm -hmm. fighting and the very yes. not real but they yeah they have changed a lot the only thing I'm really mad about Susie is the Alpha 5 change yeah. where they change the voice i'm not even sad about the weird looking robot i'm like whatever the, the voice original. is just weird. the voice is in an alpha it's not rangers rain we've talked about this every time <laughs> i'm absolutely sure and i'll keep doing rangers rangers danger <laughs> ranger and, and the best thing about him was that yeah that was like, that, that was 100 percent hilarious oh so great i enjoy the, the, the nostalgia but it's too far disconnected from the original Ex yeah, that's kind of what we're getting at a little bit with the Rangers, Rangers thing. It, it, Alpha 5 the is... Voice. <laughs> the voice. voice is just eh. Yeah, so, so We'll, we'll have to see. It's Guys, it's a rent cut, though. I it mean, is. you got to give it that, that it's not It's not the original Power Rangers we know. It's a rent cut. It's a reset. It's, it's like doing another Marvel timeline. It's a reset of everything. Definitely. So this is going to be differently themed, and it looks a lot more like alienistic kind of deal. Like, it looks like a lot more alien-ish. But it's different. It's it's a modern day revamp of Power Rangers. We got to remember that. It is. It it is, and it's uh, that's the thing. Sometimes you can't. And that was the same thing I say about Logan. Even don't go in expecting something. Please don't. I mean, and if it's you hard watch you with the trailers now, you guys. But I know, but if and that's my thing. If you go into a movie expecting something from the trailers, please don't watch. What the did trailers. you expect with Logan? I expected good things, but not. I didn't. Set my expectation as my bar for the movie. But but did it like, exceed your... It, exceed it your. definitely did. But my point was, it didn't even need to meet what I expect. Not, not just like my expectation of how good it is, but of what I expect it to be. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like movies because of they are not what they expect them to be. Characters aren't believable. Now, th were they before, though? Really? It, it's been a while since they have been. They weren't. I mean... The same thing happened with TMT. They're freaking awesome, so maybe I'll have a different opinion. Maybe. I think you're right. It won't necessarily be great. It's definitely, I don't think it'd be as good as TMT was. Uh, I thought the new the, one. The new one? Yeah. The, well, not two. I haven't seen two yet, but I mean the original live action reboot of TMT. You liked it a lot? Oh, I fucking loved it. You uh, like it? Oh, my God. Everyone I know, except for like one person who didn't like how Donnie was portrayed, which was his big gripe with the film. Gripe, which I, man. <laughs> I'm griping on that. And I'm all right. Donnie was, was that terrible. you? Was that you? That yes. I mean, it was it probably you. It was me. You let I that ruin Donatello. the movie for you. No, no. Uh, my uncle said the same thing. And I understand that you're right. And I agree that Donnie was portrayed as such a stereotypical nerd that his real character didn't get through at all. Exactly. Like so, in the and this is the comics and in the and the original TV show for the people who know, and that's probably what we all base it on. Yes, epic. I don't Susie. know. TV he wasn't that just nerdy. Wasn't he was epic like to awkward. Me. And he, but he was cool, awkward. He was like, "All right, I got these gadgets. Let's get it." Oh man, I'm a turtle power. No, that like that was originally. They made Raph so much more badass too. Guys, I just didn't like that. I loved. I just it wasn't so a much. fan. Like I don't know. So I watched good. it one time, everyone, and I. Mm -mm, I loved it. Watch it again. Loved it. I and watched I'm a, it two I'm or three times because I'm like, I really hope this isn't how Power Rangers ends up. Like I really oh, hope man. we end up with a good. I, thought, Power I think Rangers. that's funny because I hope it's. Better, but I doubt it'll be better for me than TMNT. I doubt it. I love TMNT, and I've watched all the comics, or I've read all the comics, watched most of the TV shows back from the 60s, or not 60s, 80s. Yeah, I'm like, not what? Not 60s. <laughs> the reason I say that is because it has something like 600 episodes. Seriously, the, that uh, 80s TV show has like what? 600. But it's like... It goes, Are you serious? It, but it goes for so long. Holy I've crap. only seen one, Susie. I've seen both one and two. I haven't seen two. I don't know if two is as much. Oh. I loved one. <laughs> one was so good. Two was not. No, no, sir. One's so amazing. I, but you don't like one either, though. Well, two just 
under the gun for me. I don't know what you thought, Susie, but I was I not seen a fan yet. of two. Uh, I still have to watch it. It's just one of those things. I've and let's hope this new Transformer. I used okay. to play the TMNT uh, Nintendo game too. Yeah, like that was Turtles sick. three, Turtles at a time. I played yes. the shit out of that. That was a Super Nintendo game. Oh my goodness! Yeah, the punt, the beat 'em up. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness! Dude. I yes. love those ones. They were hard. Which I don't know if you've been seeing this lately, but I've been two, seeing a trend. Two was mediocre, but three was the bomb, Susie. Three was bomb, but I've been seeing this trend with a uh, whole like people setting up like home arcades almost. Oh, man. all kinds of stuff. Man. I mean, they have been having like well, and the rich people have been and... doing it for years, but now it's becoming more affordable for people it like is. us to do it. Because it used to be you had to have a whole display, you'd get a whole monitor, a whole system set, and that was expensive back then. I mean, if you could afford it, wouldn't you? I'm not saying I would. I'm just saying that's how you made an arcade game was literally you dedicated a whole system into a little thing in a computer. Well, I'm not even just talking about an arcade. I'm just saying you have a lot of collectors coming forward showing their stuff. I've just been seeing it a lot of my timeline lately. There was this guy who had Pac-Man... Donkey Kong, the the actual arcade oh, machine. Oh, no, I guys. know. And you can and, get them like, because arcades are out of stock. Yeah, they are. And They're I'm not profitable, like, wow. and so it's more profitable for arcades to sell these things and go And he and... had an original PlayStation sign, and he had like oh, yeah. five or six different systems set Dude, up on I, different I always TVs. forget that the, the, what, where is it here that uh, the one uh, they talk, it's like it's famous for its bad Mexican food is uh, hmm. it's off Colfax and something. And I just went the other Ooh, day. I don't want to go if it's famous for bad Mexican It is, food. but it's also famous for doing like live shows and ha- there's oh, okay. like an arcade in there and all kinds of stuff. What place? It sounds really familiar. Oh, it's Las Delicias. No, not Las Delicias. What's up, Misael? Welcome back, my man. We're hey. talking about some Logan. We kind of derived a little bit and started talking about like TNT a little. We did. We, we get pulled <laughs> off. Well, we, we pull off, off whatever the topics are. You know, that's just... Classic and does. Asia said that's why so many arcade bars, which are, are so true. cool, Casa Bonita. Yes, that yes. is it. Asia, that's it. Thank, thank you, Asia. I, Casa I Bonita. just been recently, but couldn't think because there's so many Casas. Mm-hmm. Wow, Casa Bonita. Yeah, it has some terrible. It does, but it, the whole point is not the food. It's not. It's the it's the live experience. It is. It is, and like is the fact that have you experience. performed there or something? Yeah. No, but it's it's, it's the, the the live music that goes on. It's There's nice. live music. They have and live they have diving, like a diving show. Thing. There's yeah. a little. I just went. and I have a video. I'll put up on my channel eventually. Of uh, they have a little puppet show. It's a it's a live. I haven't seen the impro- puppet one. It's an improv puppet show. That's cool. It's all right. It was funny because you can heckle. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was terrible. But no, it was cool. They have like a little thing for kids and uh, a little arcade area with like the original Donkey Kong, original Pac Man, yeah. Miss Pac Man, and all those awesome great arcade. Galaga. Yeah, it is. Amazing. Are they still open? Cliff Divers. They are still open. I just went this last yeah, month. Yeah, wow. And they still have all that stuff. And it's a huge place. I haven't like, been in years, guys. I mean, like, I haven't been since I've been like. I hadn't been in a while. 15, 16, maybe. I hadn't been in a while. But they, they were we were doing some family thing or whatever. They're like, let's go. And I'm like, okay. Oh, no, the Casa Bonita. <laughs> I know, man, I know, but hey, you, hey, you don't go for the food. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're still giving out comics here uh, coming up. Guys, we've got seven comics, including all new Wolverine and a couple of really great titles as well. Let's well, see, we got Wolverine X Dupe, which I have not read that oh, one. And that's, that's the so second issue, but funny. still a great issue. That's yes. actually where stuff gets We've going. got Marvel Now Wolverine. Variant cover, guys. This is actually probably one of the more valuable ones. It's a really good one, guys. It, I mean. And not to mention, I have read the story. Great start of the story for the Marvel Now universe. Honestly, very Wolverine story. Gotta love it. Yes. But you Tortured will get heroes, your choice. Guys. You will get your choice. Of you will one? get your choice. Wolverine. Wolverine. Yes. yes. Exactly. That's yes. how we feel. <laughs> and uh, we haven't decided exactly when we'll hit people up. Mostly because we're still... You know, we're figuring everything out, but probably by the end of tomorrow, everybody who has won will be contacted. Yeah, and, we'll and contact a, everyone. And announced the... on the page, so unfortunately you're going to have to like the page and kind of pay attention to claim your prize. Like, we'll, we'll post it tomorrow, but... <laughs> Susie as if we'll sign it. <laughs> I guess, yeah, if you yeah, really, if you really want, want us signature. to and ruin it, yeah, we'll ruin hey, it. Hey, Adam, you. thanks for coming through. But yeah, like... We'll sign it. I'm not. I'm just joking, obviously. I mean, we'll if you it. want us to sign if it, you maybe want us it'll to, be worth something. We definitely will. Yeah, we'll uh, love to. But you know, it's uh, 
It's definitely up to you. Hey, you just win by liking the video and commenting. We'll yeah. be tracking everybody who commented and liked, tossing everybody's name into a hat, doing a random drawing. Yep, we're going to pick three winners. Uh, the three winners will be pick out of our seven comics, one each, and uh, you know they'll tell us which one they want, and we'll give you a mail. Hey, thank you, DH. Uh, oh, man, we're getting a lot of stuff. Adam Johnson, thank uh, you. Josh, DH Lollies. Uh, obviously, Misael, Susie, and Sai, who's no longer with us. Josh Garcia, thank you. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Josh, for giving out free again. stuff. And Adam, sup, bro? Thanks for coming by, Adam. Uh, we're just talking about Logan, talking about our giveaway. We're going to be giving away some comics later. We'll we'll touch on that a couple more minutes because we just explained it. Uh, for now, we're really talking about how great Logan was. Logan was great, guys. And and, and for the people who came yeah, in, let us know. know. Misael. You never know. Yeah, you know, you might be in, but guys, let us know. Let us know. What did you think about Logan? What was the best thing about Logan? And maybe something you may have would have changed. Lawless. Okay, sorry, D. H. Lawless. Lawless. Oh, sorry about that. My apologies. Yeah, but anyway, tell us what what was your favorite part of Logan? Oh what, yeah. What 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 did you really like that really stood out to you in this film? More than the other X Men films, because let's 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 admit face it, it guys, it's, it's way the best. it is the by far by the best X Men film. Oh wow! So is the movie in a different Thank universe? You, Susie. Uh, going get, to see this well, we there's not a huge confirmation of timeline. We think it's just the reset after like after Days of Future Past. So it's like a much more future time than a Age of Apocalypse, but still on that timeline. Um, and Michelle thought of Logan sucked. Oh man. Oh man. Well, we got one that doesn't like it. What, what was up with Logan for you? What? It takes place in the Days of Future Past timeline. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's so it. Uh, going to see this this weekend, Lawless. Uh, I thought it was great. Great. We see. He's it twice. Uh, just kidding. I loved it. <laughs> that was yeah, a good you troll. got us. Yeah, but there are some people who I've heard don't like it though. Exactly. Uh, or even so, you know, and that's not to say you have to love it. Obviously, if you don't love it, there's definitely reasons for you not to. Uh, but uh, you know, I've people who are like, you know, I give it like a seven or a six. And I'm like, you know, I disagree. I like it. It's an eight I or a nine minimum. Ten for me. out of ten. For I, me. I, 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 there are very Absolutely few. Ten. There are very few movies I can give a ten and that out of was ten. A ten for me, guys. I don't know how y'all feel about fan, it. The fan in me gives it a ten out of ten. The, okay, the, the like, I can agree with but that. But the critic in me, the gives critic it gives it, it eight about an eight or nine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That that makes sense. So as a fan, it was great. What would you guys give it? What would you guys give? Logan? Yeah. What would you give Logan if you've seen it? And if you haven't seen it, what do you expect to give it out of ten? <laughs> Michelle said, if he, if they don't like it, he <laughs> doesn't like them. Uh, those those people, people are what I like to call wrong. wrong. Thank you, literally. <laughs> oh, jeez. But yeah, Logan was by far the best X Men film, guys. It was the best depiction of Wolverine. Nine and that's a half. So that's super. Nine high. and a half. That's, that's I good. would agree. That, that's I'd about a, it. That's a pretty good assessment. Like I said, as a fan, I have to love it. Absolutely. It, at least an eight, Susie. I think that's a decent expectation. At least eight I, and above. And and if it's not, you know, I would. And that's what the critics are giving it to, guys. Generally, critics, there's a bit of it, clash. A lot of clash, especially in the like superhero these. movie. Is superhero movies do not they have. Do not do well with critics because there's always a polarizing factor in a lot of the critics. Saw it twice. Pretty good. I, I just do wish agree, we had Adam. a movie that showed up the events leading up to this point. I do agree, and I think that might be where they're going. That would be so cool to see. I'm, I'm, remember Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix. That's one of the, that's one of yeah, the things they want to explore. But the thing heavily. is, they've thrown in so much. Oh, John Wick 2 is so great, apparently. Yes. I've heard so much good things. And which is so great for me because John Wick 1 was so good that I was having that same feeling of the Deadpool conversation we had earlier. Like, mm -hmm. how are they going to top this original they John did. Wick? did. Let me tell you. All right, you can't. Good. Don't spoil it for me. 7.9 out of Johnson. I can respect that. That's a decent. That's a decent one. And, like I said, there's a lot of people, like, want more of what happened before this. And that's you know, what, what I think they might be exploring And even next. other things, like, why is uh, X-23 from Mexico? From Mexico. And it's just oh, yeah. like, it's just a plot line device. Mm -hmm. I understand it's not canon, but none of it is. I'm pretty sure that the plan is to come with the prequel to it. Yeah. Going back on what you said earlier, critics may be so harsh on superhero movies because they are a new genre all their own now. That's true. Exactly. But but, but before even, we had critics bashing movies, and, man. And and even more so to the point, not just because they were like so new and such a new idea, but because 
there are these polarizing factors in in comic book movies. Like it has to be canon. Yeah, it has, it has to, to be, be accurate. Where Spider Man was not accurate at no. all. Well, and a lot of people gave it shit. Like yeah, a lot, they did. A lot, lot of, of critics. Were the original Spider Man for Toby. Ones. Toby yeah. suffered so much, so much backlash. And they and honestly, I think a lot of the darker, more. Uh, you know, visceral stuff from two and three come as a backlash to that. To like, that. all right, let's yeah, go to the dark sh- places that Spider-Man actually goes. And that's kind of around the times when I started reading those comics. Cause I've read all Gene 700 and, issues of the, the amazing Spider- Roger. Yeah. But I've read all amazing Spider-Man issues and that's it, dude. It was like, not like, it, and I was like, that's kind of weird. Like, this is cool and all, but it's weird that it's not like the comic book. Yeah. Was and then we got a, a more accurate depiction in Andrew Garfield's. And but now we're getting even closer. Hopefully. Hopefully. We're I mean, seeing, we're, we're... The biggest thing people are having on this now is how young May is getting. I know. And that is a little Which true. Which is, like, true, yeah, because in the comics, she's pretty much an old, a very old lady. She's she is accurate in Tobey Maguire's. Like, she she's is. the most accurate looking in that one. Probably. And acting well. Although she's so old in that one, it's even hard she's to be like... She's very old. Like, I mean, Aunt May in that one is... Siskel like, and old. Elbert critics. Or Ebert. Sorry, not Elbert. Uh, also, Misa said, "Watch Logan's gonna win some wars, and the haters are just gonna hate it more." I really hope We're it does, hoping. but it's so early in the year; it's gonna get looked over by the impact of later movies. It's like they don't remember they have to capture new audiences who maybe haven't read the comics. Yeah, books. and that's exactly. yeah, yeah. Young is Young May is an odd choice to me. I kind of understand that. The thing I'm also and it, she's too young even for this depiction. This one, but she's. they're putting Peter Parker at probably the youngest they've ever put him. Either. They are, and I but actually which, like that. And it's because it's the most accurate. It is. Because people always think, oh, Peter Parker, and this is because of certain Toby TV Maguire shows. Well, Tobey Maguire, but also the, the Spider-Man, the Spider-Man TV, TV show. show yep. The original animated, like, 60s one has him as, like, a college student, basically. Mm-hmm. But, but he gets these powers in high school, guys. They, he talks about it wasn't in Civil War. He has a quote, and he says, I got these powers when I was, like, 15. 15. Yeah, 15, 15 years old. That is so young to have so much And this, this is where we're coming in. We're coming in at 16 years old. He's had the powers for a year. Star and Wars, so- Power Rangers, John Wick 2. We have uh, yes. We have so much. Wonder Woman's coming. I don't think it's going to compare. Uh, before, it might have. My thing is, the things that are going to push Logan out aren't going to be superhero movies. Star Wars, I think, might have a small nudge. I've actually heard good things about the original yeah. screening. Me too. The thing is, it's the big names aren't in their genre, but they're, they're just going to be new releases. <laughs> There's always a new release that takes this or that. And, like, my best example is this last year, that, or, like, in the Grammys, like, there's always one where it's like, okay, Adele wins. Yes, Adele is great, but when does Beyonce win a Grammy? Right, and, the, and or, Adam here says, uh, I want a blue slash yellow leotard Hexman. I feel like... Y- uh, I Jack told Man you it'll work. Wolverine can't be badass and his classic suit is just wrong. I would like to see Tom Hardy in the role just straight fucking shit up as Wolverine. Tom Hardy looks I'd good. I don't I'm I'm still so partial to one of the the uh Scott was it Scott Eastwood? Oh, okay, yeah. Scott I am Eastwood? so partial for the look. He has to bulk up, but besides He's, that, exactly, I Exactly, and that's how I feel. But I feel like Hardy can right now up. is stocky. So he kind of, he looks he great is, right but now. I feel but like if, if if uh well and if, here's the thing a lot Eastwood of it comes to the acting up. if he buffed yeah. up he'd have the he look have the but look here's down. the thing it's not all about looks because Jackman really didn't look that much like Wolverine in a lot of aspects oh. especially height wise and and some of that like physically he eventually buffed up buffed to up eventually but but he's way taller mm-hmm. he he's not as rugged as he's very handsome for what we, I mean Wolverine has been depicted as somewhat handsome. But he's also but a he's, very rough man. He's rough, he's yeah. Canadian like, I mean, wild, just and and as much and... you know, much scruff as uh, uh, Jackman has. I never. This was this movie was the wildest you ever saw him. Mm-hmm. This was, was the wildest. And and this is this is how we Scott him Eastwood the would be badass. I'm telling you, Susie. Yes. Yes. Spider Man. Yes. Uh, there have been so many Spider Man. Yeah, Spider-Man. no, guys. Yes, but Asaya. Here, I'll I'll have a little um, tangent about that one. There hasn't been a perfect one yet. In my opinion, if you guys know a lot about Spider-Man, you'll know there hasn't been a very realistic depiction no. of him Toby comic-wise. Was, Toby was too broody and not... Oh my God. And he, he didn't so bring the comic depressing. relief. He didn't bring any comic any relief. Comic that relief. was comic relief. so and on the, guys. On the op- on the opposite side, Andrew Garfield, while he was a great Spider-Man... 
That second movie just didn't hit it for me. I, I don't know. The second movie the second didn't, one didn't but, hit it. But on the other hand, he didn't do the broodingness Bringness. of Peter Parker, you're correct. Yeah, he Parker did. is... When he's Spider-Man, Spider-Man is jaunt. He's, he, and it's because... They talk about it. It's because he has to stay lighthearted to mm-hmm, avoid to his... Avoid the- the darkness, the darkness and stress inside of him. And, yeah, and all the craziness. Like, cause it, there's a lot that's going on. They have missed the mark, yes, Susie. It's not just not going to be as good with someone else's Wolverine him. missile. I I want to say it's we don't, not, uh, but we don't. We have we to don't look know. and see. We have to see. Here's the thing: it's just going to be different, and people got to understand. Sometimes you can't compare two things, and you got to understand. We've got a Wolverine, <laughs> and we've got a Spider-Man. We got two people. So we've got it. we. It, it, it's hard to say right now because Wolverine was even far surpassed my expectations. Logan was awesome. Like, I didn't think it was going to be that great, to be honest. I thought it was going to be about a seven, seven and a half. I was hoping for an eight. I, I was Like I said, after, after all of the original ones, I was anything above a six would have been fucking amazing. <laughs> it's like replacing Paul Walker with a different actor but playing the same character. Seth Rogen. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. But no, I mean, I totally can say that. That's what throws it off for me is we've had him so long. He's such, there are no real, like when you go back, there are no parts that are this kind of long lived as superhero parts. Even the James Bond roles switch more often than this. Yeah. And those prior to this, the the other exceptions are like Terminator and Aliens, but even those roles are just so spaced out. When yeah, you think about it, the amount of times huge. they actually play those characters is so it's limited. Little. Whereas, how many times has he portrayed Wolverine? Nine? Yeah, it's been nine different films. Because well, let's see, you got X Men, X Two, X Three, The Wolverine, Logan, Days of Future Past. This one, I, and then I totally the understand Pocalypse. that they could do it with the timeline aside, and you can replace anyone. And the and even they do. And the thing is, people don't like change. We like new and innovation, but we hate change for some reason. Mm-hmm. And, and I it, agree with Adam. We do need a, like a solid Green Goblin. Sorry, kind of derailed. No, no, guys, you're fine. But I just wanted to touch on his comment. We do need a solid Green Goblin because yeah, he did suck, um, and he was killed off so early that Bye, you didn't Susie. really get a great personality of him. Yeah, see you later, Susie. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming, coming to in. check you're us obviously out. Obviously, in the uh, drawing, so we'll let Absolutely. you know by tomorrow. Pl- please pay attention to the uh, or keep updated with the, uh, the comic page. combos page. Yep, keep updated with our page. We'll definitely be announcing the winners of the comics after this, you guys. Absolutely, but yeah, I agree with you. Um, and then Harry followed up on such a weak note, and he got killed off so early that it almost just didn't care. It didn't matter to me. Yeah, they had a lot that wasn't going on. For and the that. Harry, okay, so I think that might have been where they went wrong in Amazing Spider-Man Two. I didn't really like the Harry that much, guys. The Harry didn't stand out for me. He I don't didn't. even remember what he looks like. He's a the, short guy. They switched and... that. They did make the point. I did see a meme that like they switched him. Like in the original Spider-Man, it's very much how it was originally. Like Harry is a little and that's less what I was nerdy, say. A little he's less. a little less nerdy in that one. Okay. Like he's a little more, you know, fly and shit. Yeah, and then two, he. Him and Peter basically switch places. You know, he's the nerdish kind of thing, and Peter's mm-hmm. like, kind of this chillish, kind of chill, coolish. Like he's not cool. And that's but... what I, and that's what I'll say about Andrew Garfield is like he didn't do the nerd part that well. No, and that's why I said he couldn't play a very good Peter Parker. Yeah, so uh, he played a good Spider Man, but not a good Peter. But Parker, not a good Peter. Parker. As opposed to Gar, Gar- uh, Tobey Maguire, who played a good Peter Parker, not a good Spider Man. As good we Spidey. have discussed several times. He tried, but he could not deliver those quips. James Franco was a great Harry. I would say he was a good Harry, especially in comparison to like the the newer one. Yeah. But, but he wasn't a great Harry. No. Not in my and, opinion. And here's the thing, and I know this is so such a stupid thing to harp on and like a dumb thing that make the that makes the character, but the hair. The hair makes that character. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> come on, tell me the hair doesn't make that character. I'm not when you gonna... think about Harry Osborne, you don't think about the sniveling, quibbly guy he actually is. You think, oh man, that hair. That hair. That hair. Even when you think about Norman Osborn, not the Green Goblin, but Norman, Norman Osborn. Yeah. You're just like, God damn, that hair. Yeah. And that's no offense to his great looking hair. I mean, I wish I could get those waves. <laughs> but it's just one of those things. The hair, I'm telling you, AJ, it's the hair. God damn. <laughs> Love it. Love the hair. The hair. The hair. Oh my goodness. But yeah, Spider Man has been through various evolutions. We'll see if this one gets it right. I mean, it looks pretty close. And it is MCU, which is pretty reliable. Decently reliable. Yeah, so. 
Very, very but good. But think, if they change the actor for Wolverine and use him for the Apocalypse timeline, it will just feel like one of those cheap sequels that could bring the original actors back because, yeah, they're younger and different actors for Professor X, etc., but they use Jackman in it, so yeah, I was just Yeah, that's the real part is the yeah. separation of the timelines didn't separate Jackman because they sent him the, back. Yeah, they sent him back. And so and that's, so that like, is sloppy. Like I said, I don't really see how they'd really do it. Like, they definitely could. It wouldn't, like I said, it's just not going to feel great. There's no great way to replace, replace a character, a character that's unless been a character you replace them with a similar character, not the same. 17 years. He has been Wolverine for 17 years. It, like we said, what was it, eight or nine films? Eight or nine films. That is got to be by far like the longest one of the longest recurring film uh uh portrayals the only one he's not in is uh first class no he's in that one. Oh, he yeah he made the cameo yeah he made the cameo he's in that one wow he's in every single one then he doesn't appear to age which is the, also the thing that that's the thing. Jackman is such an irreplaceable character now because he's been imprinted in every, every movie, every timeline. One. Like the only way you you basically just have to pretend like he was the same guy. Brian Singer to... needs to hang up his coat and let someone else do a full X Men movie and touching on Spider Man. I think we found a winner in terms of uh, Spider Man Peter him. Parker combo. Me, yes, and, me and Leo have agreed on especially this point seeing too. him in Civil War Two. I was like, we get a good snippet of how he's going to be as both. Yes, you and get he him was is acting like, very it, accurately. Yes, so f for example, a great portrayal from Civil War from Peter Parker's perspective is in the room with Iron Man. Iron Man, great job. <laughs> Oh He's yeah, no, so no. but no, that's all online, oh, online right? right? Yeah. Right. Oh, you built this yourself. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I just yeah. found some stuff found in the trash. Stuff. Don't worry about it. Oh, what's that? <laughs> what? That? Nothing. What? That? Back. Nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. Yeah. Like it's... that's perfect, Spider-Man. Um. Oh, and plus the Star Wars reference Definitely while they was. were fighting and just all the little quips that he had to add in. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Queens but... and Brooklyn. It's... <laughs> oh my God! You've got a metal arm. That's so, so cool. cool. Like, that's so Spider-Man. Like, Oh, my goodness. He is, and he's so great. And he's gotten a little snotty lately in the comics for the last couple years. Yeah. He's gotten a little... But he's aging but that's and why changing I'm, That's why I'm enjoying Miles Morales. Miles Morales is and, very much... And um, Spider-Gwen. And I'm enjoying Spider -Gwen all the so different great. incarnations. There's so many. Uh, what are your guys' like, thoughts on like the new Spider-People, the new, you know... If you had to pick a new Logan, uh, and if you if don't... If you had to pick a new and Wolverine. If, and if you don't want a new Wolverine, how are you going to get Hugh Jackman to come back? Yeah. Okay, That's so here, one. let's answer the question. How would you get Hugh Jackman to return back to the series? What would you think would bring him back? Because he did hint that he would come back if there was a crossover between X-Men and Avengers. Not that he would definitely come back, but he did say that he would be interested in doing a team-up like that. And if you did, do we get Patrick Stewart back, too? Right. And Patrick Stewart actually said he's like, he, he would be interested in the Deadpool. Deadpool cameo tool. stuff, yeah. yeah. Cameo stuff in that. I would so be our, like, and the thing is, I think he's just done doing these big roles where he has to be there for months on end, like this one, where I'm, I'm sure he had to be there for months on end, and he's mm -hmm. an older guy now. I mean, they obviously aged him in the movie. Send him nudes. Well, there it is. He would join on board right. He would join on board right away. <laughs> I believe you. Mm -hmm. Anything with Deadpool, yes. Deadpool's pretty great. I'm happy, but I don't want to overuse him for sure. Yeah, he's gonna have to be measured. To I'm be wondering. Good. I'm wondering which timeline he's in, though. No one's probably his own. Uh, well, if one of the Professor X's pops up, that'll answer it. I mean, if they ever get that, but I've so much doubt that that's happening mostly there because of, about it i just feel like it would limit him more than it would expand yeah like we might as well just leave the x-force you thing might alone. as well just i mean no the x-force thing's fine just separated from the x -Men. that's what i'm saying most just leave it yeah. leave it as x-force timeline like, x-force movie would be great it'll yep. be theirs yep. all you got to do is use characters that haven't been used yet and aren't associated with start the building those up and stuff. And, and, and the great part is x-force is full of those characters mm -hmm. nathan summers domino uh oh, well, some yeah, of the original domino War just got cast Warpath was a uh, part of the original uh, X Force, I believe. Uh, Wolfsbane, and I think that that might be where they're moving, bro. To well, the X Force. Well, with all the new mutant stuff we're hearing about the next X Men movie, as well as the series is coming up, as well as the series for the Runaways. Is there a way to place Wolverine in Africa and have him cross paths with Black Panther? That Wolverine would be dope. is probably interacted with the most. Some besides like Spider, I don't know. He's got to be tied for some of the most interactions with other characters. Yeah, because he's 
interacted with pretty and much some just of it is just the length of his history so yeah. he has definitely interacted with Black Panther I'm not sure if he's ever gonna make it into that movie obviously but bringing in Jackman I know I know I'm a wishful, thinker, I'm a wishful right. thinker well too. that would be cool if they just popped up did a little duke in that would be awesome but yeah it's not Marvel is not budget on their decision to be, stay separate from Fox so besides that you know what other comments do we have on Wolverine Logan the comic book movies so, what do you guys Fun. think will actually... Do you guys think that there's going to be a movie that might be better than Logan? Like, let's talk about this. Wonder you know, Woman's coming out. We have Wonder Woman, Spider-Man, Justice Guardians League. of the Galaxy. Go oh God, I forgot. Which, guys, let's remember that first one was... G-O-T-G-2. And the soundtrack. Oh, man. Such good classics. Marvel's doing a great thing with those 70s And, and I'm so bitter they don't have a freaking Oscar. I'm bitter. I think we're all bitter, man, because think about how good Deadpool was last year, and he wasn't up for any of the runnings. None of them. Not one. That's the real... Like I said, I feel like there was definitely some discrimination there. Well, it has to be appropriate. It has to be PG-13 and under. PG-13, man. But still, we had Civil War. We had Doctor Strange, which didn't even make it on the best visual effects. Which, ridiculous. Like, um, people were turning things upside down and it still looked like reality and people were creating these magical quips that could do any and everything. Come on! Something, Come on! Man. I don't know. I still wanted a better Dormammu. Yeah. That was my only comment That's on that. That's probably the Let's see, Deadpool movie didn't live up to my expectations, but seeing Wolverine and Deadpool get together would be fucking awesome. That would. Also, an X-Men crossover with the second Infinity Wars would be pretty sweet, too. But you have to account for all these mutants, and I think for a movie universe, you just can't have too many heroes in the world, or else it doesn't make it special anymore. Yeah, that would just be a little bit of overkill. Yeah, Guardians looks good, and they're upgrading their cameras so there will be better cinematography. Also, sorry if so many words are misspelled or doesn't make sense because I'm using my talk to text. No worries, Adam. Um, Wonder Woman looks eh. So how much y'all smoke? <laughs> Wonder Woman looks iffy oh, and like you. apparently, <laughs> apparently, I've some heard critics have gotten a hold of it and it hasn't been that great. I don't know how many people have seen it and how true that actually is, but I've heard that some people actually kind of got an early viewing of it and they, mm -mm, I heard it's not that great. Hopefully that's not the truth, but that's just what I've heard on my end. I don't know about Someone you. Someone said something anything? about that, about something else. Uh, I think it was Iron Fist, and then a lot of people were talking about the bait bias from the reviewer. Iron Fist is getting slammed right now. I've heard a lot about that. like, But then I've also heard a lot about the reasons being very biased reasons of He's a white martial artist. Yeah, a, and it's like, and it's like that's on. the whole freaking concept. Right? He You're got gonna bash, that's like bashing black Jesus for Think being about it, black guys. Jesus. If you've seen the trailer, you know about kind of what happens. Iron Fist ends up in this situation after a tragedy. Oh, so, so <laughs> this is not, I mean, it's like they just took him in. Like, it's not like they're like, you're not a you're not Asian? Nope, you can't come here. It, it was he was brought there. He was yeah, raised that, and that, that's just like oh, it's the, it's more of it's more of cultural appropriation. I'm like, can't it be cultural appreciation? I mean, he's white in the comics. He is. Not only that, he gets his magical powers from like a mystical Asian city. So Who curious was... to know you guys' thoughts on the small screen Iron Fist. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. And We're Iron still Fist, Iron Fist. We'll have to check that one out. Like Iron, I'm uh, waiting these, for these it. TV shows. You got to just kind of take one at a time. Like you can't really assume that any of them are going to be right. Where only. you know, not everyone's great. Like Jessica Jones. Hate to say it, like six out of ten, maybe, maybe <laughs> seven. I watched. It's the funny movie. you say that because that's exactly how I feel. Really? Like, and a lot of people were like, "Really? That movie was great." And I was like, "Legions of oh, oh guys, god, sorry." Oh my god. Legion. Legion's amazing. Guys, if you haven't seen Legion yet, it is literally one of Marvel's best shows. JJ. Yep. Absolutely. Because, dude, this is not the typical Marvel action boom, boom, boom. No. Hit, 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 fist, fist, punch. This is, this is a psychological thriller. Oh, it's a mind fuck. And it, it's. <laughs> oh my god. Like, you. you it well, makes Legion, no you better sense. Pay attention you got a science. Oh god! Flips from place to place. It's so freaking crazy. It's so great. And if you know anything about the backstory of the character David Haller, he's an awesome guy. It, not just that, they're doing such a great job portraying it, especially him as a 
you know, more of a protagonist-ish approach. Yeah, well, at least as close as you can get for as someone close. like Davis. Yeah. And, and look, I wanted to take a second here and just time out. Uh, we do, we're do. we still having that prize contest, guys, for everyone who likes, comments, and... Yeah, by the and way. And al also have... shares, obviously. Thank you guys for sharing, uh, you know. Uh, show one more in the list that we had, and then we've already done the weapon. Do We did dupe. We showed dupe, right? Yeah, let's, so let's show... show this one. Oh, so this is one of my favorites, guys. 6-6, six, six, last... Last one of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, this is that face-off of Wolverine and uh, Gorgon. As you can see, it is a sexy issue that you can choose if you'd like. Yeah. Thank you for coming, uh, Agent. We'll see you uh, maybe when you get your uh, prize and maybe next week. Either yeah, way. we'll see you soon. Thanks for coming through this time. Yep, whoever maybe gets the win. We'll yeah, we so agree. That's another comic. We'll show a couple more of them as we go. We agree. Um, um, Jessica Jones did was not didn't hit the nail on the head for me. Didn't hit it. Luke Cage did good. Daredevil's great. Um, I'm hoping that Defenders will be as great as Daredevil is. I that's hope. the the best one. Defenders. Oh uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I loved Luke Cage. Oh yeah, I, I did almost, too. The only reason Daredevil is better is uh, because of the extra characters. Oh, the ending of Luke Cage too. But, yeah. Uh, the extra <laughs> characters. Uh, in Daredevil, the way that it's played out is just exactly like a comic book, guys. Like, with the very exception of a little bit of a slow start at the start of Season 2, Season 2 of Daredevil is exactly like a goddamn comic book. It is. And it is so great. I love it so much. It literally is. And the Punisher. The Punisher was probably... That's the funniest part. Daredevil was great, but honestly, the Punisher, the Punisher was the best part amazing, of Daredevil yeah. Season 2. <laughs> Luke Cage is so amazing to me, too. Isn't always. it? And like, because it's so music street, in it, too. The music, but it's so street, street. to me. It's so fucking neighborhood. And, like, and I grew up in Five Points, and anyone who knows Denver kind of knows Five Points. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I grew up here as a kid. It just vibes so heavy, even, you know, being light-skinned as I am. And I just liked the black culture that was roped into Luke Cage. So like, it was good. amazing the, what, even the way Even the cinematography. Yeah. Halo Spartan plot twist from Luke Cage. No, no, no shit, Mizell. That was a great one. But <laughs> right? it's so cool because it's so kind of reminiscent of the comics a little bit of just that, like, different levels of the stuff and the people and the manipulation of how Cage is viewed in the... the Law's eyes, and that's why he's always like, Yeah, and it's an unfortunate thing that happens to him, you know. What I mean, it's like he really is a good guy. What's up, Scott? Thanks for coming out. We're talking about Luke Cage a little bit right Thanks now. For coming in. This is still a Logan themed episode, yeah. But we're just we kind just, of deriving, a yeah. Bit we from we, people's we love questions. to talk, yeah, and we love to talk with, about anything you guys talk about. So please comment, let us know what you think about Luke Cage, Logan, any other Marvel comic, DC comic, and what's I, coming up. And all I think stuff. about Iron Fist, like, I almost when I when I saw the initial bashes and some of them didn't have anything to do with his race, I, I was like, I wonder if they didn't give it enough attention. Like, think about how big they're boosting defenders. Like, they're kind of de they're kind of boosting up defenders, and then they're also putting out information steadily about the Punisher. Did they really give Iron Fist enough love? Like, I didn't see that much about Iron Fist really and up until like February and when it was really really close. Definitely, but I didn't really see too much hype about it. No, it's, well, and I think I'm biased now because of the amount of hype Legion got. Oh, uh, no, no worries, DH hype. Lawless. No worries for getting us off topic. We're just, no, dude, yeah, it's fine. Is, we love going off topic, honestly. And there's only so much we can talk about Logan. Let's yeah, be absolutely. Uh, it's still, though, definitely a great movie, and I don't know. I don't know, man. There's so much that could go good and bad. Yeah, there's so much that can go good and so much that could go not so good. Net. Netflix is hit or miss, so we'll have to see how it plays out. The thing is, even if it's only as good as Jessica Jones, I still say Jessica Jones is worth the watch. Like, the Purple Man made it worth it. Mm -hmm. There are scenes in Jessica Jones that are just goddamn powerful. And and I think that... What's up, Tony? Good to hey, see you, man. Hey, thanks for coming in, guys. Yeah, and I think that it's it's easy to tell, you know what I mean? Like, it, 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 it's, it's easy to tell it's going to be a battle, because... You don't know if it's going to be good or bad, and we'll have to just see. So for that one, we're, we'll just see how that Iron will. Fist will play out. I think Punisher will be great. I think they'll probably put a lot more effort into that. But Definitely. poor Danny Rand just got, he just kind of swept aside. Well, he's a sidekick. Yeah, so. <laughs> he, was a, he was a sidekick upon introduction. Right. For those who don't know, Iron Fist is Luke Cage's sidekick. He's Luke sidekick. Cage's sidekick. Yeah. 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 Um, 
Logan, 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 Logan. <laughs> Logan, man. I want to go again. Almost, I, I do. But I just don't. Right. And I especially can't after talking about another, it. Yeah. I almost want to go. What see up, it again. man, Antonio Garza? <coughs> How's it going? Yeah, it's. What did you guys think? Anybody who just joined, Tony, good to see you, man. Anybody who just joined in, let us know what uh, you think of Logan. And to me, if you ignore the Jessica Jones comic character, JJ becomes a good show. And see, I don't know enough about Origin Jessica yeah, Jones. Yeah, I, was just I know about to a say, little I don't bit. Really know I know much. about her. I know about Jewel, <laughs> and I know about her issues. And but I didn't know enough about her to like color me before seeing the show. I'm sold. I'll definitely see this weekend. Oh yeah, you gotta see. Yeah. Oh uh, well, we're not gonna, we're, we're not talking about any spoilers, Antonio. Yeah, we haven't been spoiling. No at spoilers all. at all. <coughs> uh, we're we just saying you gotta go see it. We're not gonna tell you about it. Yeah, the, we, we're the, doing a no spoilers review. I mean, we've touched on a very, very few points that may have been a little too much, but they're further back in the video. And plus, we don't, we're not going to touch too much on no. uh, Logan spoilers or anything. No, like the reason being that it's soon too new. We've been out, it's been out a week now. We know because we missed our last week's episode because of Logan. Because of Logan, and yeah. And other stuff, but also just Logan let out at like 11. Yeah, 10, yeah. 11. It's a lengthy one, but it's worth it. It's great Worked movies. It. Go ahead and see it if you haven't seen it. Um, and don't let our great don't 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 be you know try not like I said don't let your expectations get raised or lowered by us. Take yeah. it take it as take one it as piece your opinion. Yep. Yep. yep, you know this is just one a couple people's opinions and a few more in the comments. But but go in with any kind of you know with no expectation. Just go exactly. In and don't if see you it. here's the thing, if you go in with the expectation, you can be disappointed. So just like. It's kind of that Buddhist mentality. If you desire, you will want. Exactly. So just go in and accept it for what it is and then evaluate it as being good or bad. You know exactly. what I mean? That's how you experience something. Like, don't. If you let your mood color it, if you let your preconceptions color it, it's going to be color. Not color. It's going to. Jeez, actually, what hey, you're look, trying to man. say. Hey, look. I'm <laughs> colorblind ish. No, only in the left eye. Oh uh, man, <laughs> that just got dark. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, it it don't let other people tell you how you should view something ever, and like don't let, you know, don't let us ruin it for you by like hyping it up, and don't let us ruin it for you by telling you it's total shit or anybody else. Like I'm not gonna you gotta tell take you it at shit. face value at your own opinion. But yeah, guys, we're gonna start kind of moving inching a little bit towards the close here. We've been talking for for quite a bit about Logan and. You know, it's because we love these movies, and so this was much. the first one to hit theaters this it, time. It is. It's the and like we said, it's the domino effect. Everything <laughs> starts dropping after this. Yep. We've got Iron Fist coming up. We've got Power Rangers coming up. After that, what comes after that? We've, we've got, got Teen Titans in April. Oh, God. We've got uh, in May. We've got Guardians of the Galaxy. Then we've got Spider Man. Spider Man, and Wonder somewhere Woman. in between that, we will have Defenders. Yep. And then Wonder Woman. Justice League. We, it, it I just think they dominoes. said we get Punisher either this year or early next year. I mean, everything's just coming up. Okay, then question. Jessica Jones or Supergirl TV show? Uh, that's a hard one. It is. <laughs> the thing is, the action in Supergirl makes up for a lot of the faults in like storyline and stuff, whereas Jessica Jones doesn't have as much. But the drama in Jessica Jones is way, way better. Way better. It's like way... Supergirl. Uh, I'll run Jessica Jones, but I haven't seen season two of Supergirl yet. I've heard season two is great. And that's what I've heard. Season two is great. And if season two of Supergirl is any better than season one, it's better than Jessica Jones. D.H. Lawless, thanks for coming out. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, and come back next week. Also, check the page to, for today and tomorrow to see if you win a comic book as... I think anybody who will liked show, or commented. I guess we could show the rest of the comics real yeah, quick. Yeah, we've got know. all new X-Men. Which features X-23 as Wolverine. So good. We've got this Weapon X, Wolverine. Age of Apocalypse. Oh, wow. yeah. And I believe this is issue number one, Deluxe. This might be a one run. Is this the, a one issue? It's a Deluxe run for sure. Wow. So that's not, pretty, not bad. Pretty good little we, choice here. Nice. We've we've got this one right here, Wolverine. which is Wolverine, the Wolver the first Wolverine from the Wolverine Now issue, and it's a variant, variant of white cover. cover. 
So it's all crazy, like, stiff cardboard stuff, and then it's protected on the inside. And then we've got Wolverine, Enemy of the State. This is by far one of the coolest so ones. Good. That I mean, you might get nudes, but they're not mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but oh yeah, God. Wolverine Enemy to say, trust me guys, you want to check this out. This is the start of his epic battle against the world. And then we've got a What If Magneto oh. and, and Professor X form the X-Men together? What if they did? Wow, guys. What if they did? How catastrophic would that be? Oh, it would be great. And Wolverine X Dupe. This one I have not read. Oh, it's such a great... cartoonish looking Check out Dupe. Art. Oh, it, it's so great, guys. Uh, that's number two. Unfortunately, we don't have number one. That is the best one out of the three, though, probably, is number two. And last but not least, Wolverine, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Six of six. So this is the conclusion, guys. But trust me when I say, great series. You can see who he's fighting on the cover, uh, which is the Gorgon again. Great enemy. Total dark. Guys, those are the prizes. The contest is going. You've got until the stream is over. Well, actually, I guess until we make the pick. Yeah, you guys have got until tomorrow. Like, share the page. Well, I guess if you don't, if you want to get the prize, maybe you know, if you if you want to get the prize, maybe not. But like, share, follow us, guys. We'll be doing a lot. Let's next week. Um, what comes out next week? Wow, we we're coming up on the next week already. I mean, we've got King next Kong week, this week. I and then I think, think Iron Fist is actually Iron Fist comes up out next Friday. next Friday, so it won't be next week, but the week after we will. We will be. I will have seen all of Iron Fist, and yep. we'll give you a thorough review. <laughs> Each of us me. will have seen all of it because it's all Netflix. And oh, that's a good thing Netflix. about that. Gotta yeah, love Netflix. Absolutely. And and uh, there's other stuff on Netflix now that is not comic book related. Obviously, uh, there, I remember Ajin season two was out. There was a bunch of other oh, stuff Ajin. that had come out. Yes. Hulu has also been releasing some cool stuff. Yeah. Dragon Ball cool. Super just jumped into new cool thing. I just wanted to give you guys updates on some of the stuff that wasn't. Usually we do big rounded about news, but this was an all Logan episode. All and, Logan episode. And guys. we don't regret it, but I'm gonna give you just some jots down. Uh, we saw the end of the uh, uh, X-Men versus Inhumans. Mm -hmm. So a uh, IVX is done. Uh, we saw the end of Suicide Squad versus Justice League, yeah. I think, last week or the yep. week before. Uh, and we saw the end of a lot of series and the start of a lot of new series. We got, like, X-Men Gold. We've got X-Men Prime. We've got... Oh, X-Men Gold is coming out. Yeah. And we've got the next Unworthy what, Thor coming up, the, too. Oh, that is going to be the release, guys. The release, that is going guys. to... The ne when that comes out, we are talking the about next, it. The next... The next Unworthy Thor <sighs> is going to show us what happened that made Thor unworthy. Like, what did Nick Fury say that made him unworthy? What could it have That been? made him... Yeah, exactly. What put him to bed? What put Mjolnir back on the ground? What put Mjolnir on the moon, right? We're to Mjolnir fucking to move. the moon. Wow. Holy Jane geez. Foster is Thor now, if you guys didn't know that. But Which is, Thor. it's been a year or two since yeah. that pack came out. So, uh, But seriously, we're going to be doing so much more next week. Sorry we took another week off. We know we're, it doesn't help to be inconsistent sometimes, but we're going to get back on it. it. Those movie releases are sometimes that way. And soon, guys, very, very soon, I wanted to make a couple of quick announcements before we close. Very soon we're going to be taking um, guests, and we prefer, you know, we would love for you guys to come talk about comics and stuff with us. We will say it's a mostly comic-centric cast, so if you're following the comics, it's even better. But if not, come talk about one of, maybe one of the special things that you know about, like video games and one of the others. You know, if you're a you know, specialist in something, let us know. If you're a specialist, we can work we can, it we can, in somehow. Yeah, we can work you in. So let us know, and we also need a little bit of social media help. Um, so if anybody has a couple minutes of spare time, especially on Thursdays when we're live, uh, just to kind of help us out with some of the social media stuff, that'd be awesome. So let us know, guys. We'll be back next week at the same time, guys. We'll be talking about the new nerdy stuff that came out. Oh, yeah. Uh, in the meantime, you know, while this isn't going, we are definitely going to be releasing more uh, content for me and stuff. Uh, you can check out my and Leo's personal stuff. He's at the blurred blog, mm -hmm. uh, dot com. Yes, the blurred blog dot com, which I'm actually opening next week, guys. That's so cool. We'll I'm at a uh, 3D Productions Inc. dot com. Uh, with, uh, 3D is going to be 3D, yeah. But uh, come check us out. Uh, I know, obviously, the Comic Convos episodes are available here. They're going to be available on YouTube later. I think we're up to episode three now on the uploads. Uh, I'll have to go check, awesome. recheck. Good. Uh, and four and five are well on their way. Uh, I do personal gaming videos, music stuff, 
uh, I also then do I do writing yep. and I do a lot and I'm gonna start doing YouTube videos soon guys so. nice I'm also getting we're gearing up for more of those hopefully some how to's or uh, some walkthrough things it's oh, very good. popular stuff uh, and then uh, I'm also starting up I guess I'm throwing a slight shout for this I'm doing the case closed abridged casting uh, and I'm hopefully probably till the end of the month max you guys like case closed get in on this abridged project I'm telling it's gonna be it's, hilarious guys it's I've be seen the script it's <laughs> awesome. it, it is fr pretty fun at some parts uh, and it's gonna take a little bit of work but I, I have great hopes for it I've already gotten a little bit of the hang of the editing here and there you know there's stuff to do there's things to polish out but I would love it if you'd like to join in any form or capacity and we'll and, share it on the comic convos page as well so oh yeah when it comes out there's through. definitely we're trying to get a much more you know global reach of not like just global but like we want to be with it involved with everything comics are very pervasive to the world now you know they involve a lot and they involve a lot of how we live in the circumstances mm -hmm. and situations in which we live are depicted in comic books a lot exactly and so there's never when you're going to have a out. manga slash anime episode uh, I guess we can do a whole focused one if we see enough. Uh, yeah, if we see some more updates, we'll do like a whole entire episode. The thing is, that. yeah, because I definitely follow manga and anime super close. I love reading. I'm always trying to find the new things. For example, if you guys haven't checked out Fireman, or I followed some guy with a zin with an exposed nipple and found the <laughs> wow. Zenithian sword. Those are great manga that are. Uh, Still probably well within the first year of Oh, production. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get some more themed episodes the more we go. Yep. We'll continue. And, and honestly, we're really looking for more interaction for that kind of stuff. We need we need you guys to, like, comment and message us. Uh, and tell share. us what you think. Yeah, let us yeah, know. Yeah, share. Let, just let us know what you're looking for because we really enjoy so much of everything. that Nothing, you know, if you guys say, oh, we like 80s Transformers stuff. Hell yeah, let's hey, we'll get into a talk about that. Stuff, yeah, man. Let us know. Like, what let us was, know what, what you guys, guys see. like? What do we do? What are we really like? We're a community. We're a conversation. Exactly. We're we're, we're a Comic Con versation, you know, and a Comic Con we, and a Comic Con. Like, everything is there. Like we we want it all to be there. Like manga, anime, movies, TV, you know, Video all games, of it. All we that. don't want to limit, and we really love talking about this stuff with you guys. And, uh, and by the way, Game of Thrones official date today, guys. Official dates. Oh my goodness! What is it? July tenth, oh. something like that. Let me double check. It's but yeah, so close. official, official Game of oh, Thrones. That's crazy. Today, they have, there's a lot of stuff being announced. They had the Runaways announcement. Yeah, earlier from oh the Hulu goodness. cast. They've got the a uh, lot of the Inhuman cast. July seventeenth. <sighs> so good. But yeah, we will. I think probably cut this episode. You know, we've done our nice little cast, and yeah. we could go a little longer. But I, I feel like we've kind of hit the spot where people are, you know, doing their things, doing their life. And uh, yep. next week, we're going to have more to talk about because we're not going to be focused solely on Logan. First yeah, we'll have the full cast going next week. This one was just a special episode. But, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. And uh, come on back. Comic Convos, everybody. Comic Convos. Comic Convos. <laughs>